Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be dismantling a short video by Hench Herbivore. He has 60,000 subscribers. The puzzle of the video is, haha vegans, meat is crucial for human health. Again, another one trying to play on the RE card. Let's go. New claims? Are you out of your f mind? Check out this absolute nonsense that passes for news apparently these days from the Mail Online daily What's amazing there is he's got this big F off microphone and he's like shouting in an echoey room. It's like you might as well just not have a microphone, you must just use your phone or something. This is crap. It's almost as bad as my audio from um, six months ago, and yet he's got 60,000 subscribers. Just goes to show you how heavily this um, vegan cult is being pushed. You fail. Meat is crucial for human health. Must be some sort of amazing new meta analysis because. What, like, I don't know, 350,000 years of human evolution? Seems substantial enough for me. Until now, for many years, the scientific, the scientific consensus, based on overwhelming preponderance of data, is that meat very definitely is not crucial for human. Who, who's created this data? This data, what is it based on? Who are your research subjects? Who are your participants? Health and actually, it's one of the worst things you can eat. Oh, must be some amazing new study that's come out that's really blown everything out of the water. The, the scientific community must be in a, <laughs> just crazy upheaval. Or, or is it just some BS that a, a handful of people have said and they're reporting it as news? Let's find out, shall we? Meat is crucial for human health, scientists say, as they call for an end to the zealotry pushing vegetarian and vegan diets. Well, if meat is crucial for human health, why does every credible nutrition authority say that a vegan diet is suitable for anybody at any stage of life and may confirm if you're talking about the world health organization here they um released information i think in 2015 they said oh you know red meat and processed meat was bad something along those lines they then retracted that statement they actually took it back they re revoked it they redacted it now they don't think that keep up with the science now, if you're talking about nutrition authorities, people that know a bit about nutrition, I am a nutritionist. nutritionist. I am a nutrition authority, so to speak. I am an expert in nutrition. That is my field. That is my game. That's what I do. You, hench herbivore, what do you do? You charge people a lot of money for keeping programs online, which make them less healthy. How many vegans quit each year? How many carnivores quit each year? That's what I want to know. Uh, health benefits. Surely if this was true, they'd have to be saying it. Can, can you not tell that something's slight, just slightly awry here? <laughs> Scientists have said farming is too important to become a victim of cemetery. Okay, so firstly it's human health, but now you're saying that farming's too important. Hmm, I wonder if there's financial gain at play here. Hmm, may have given that away, uh, son. Scientists have called just spot the Yu Gi Oh tin on the bottom right here. I want to get that. When I get 5,000 subscribers, guys, so if you're going to buy that tin for me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, back to the point. Yeah, I, I guess he is correct in this point. Like, why are they going for farming when nutrition in this article? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, regenerative agriculture is essential for the maintenance of the, the earth. So I get their point. Yeah. Is it relevant to this article? Maybe not, but it's an add on, I guess. Called for zealots to stop pushing vegetarian and vegan diets onto people, warning that meat is crucial for a healthy lifestyle. I never push my nutrition on anyone. The only push in this done is the pushing of knives into animals' throats from people who eat dead bodies rather than something healthy. And again, where is your science? Where is your data? I think most animals that I eat, for the most part, probably having um, bolts put through their head in an instantaneous fashion to minimize suffering. Um, I'm not sure about knives though I mean yeah it's, it's going to be brutal in time you, an animal dies it is brutal yes of course but that's the cycle of life that's human nature yeah backing up me is crucial for a healthy lifestyle I've been vegan for 10 years do I look like I'm struggling you seem to have aged a lot since I first saw some of your older videos like 5 10 years ago Almost a thousand academics from leading universities across the world have signed an initiative which argues that livestock farming is too important to become a victim of zealotry. 
Almost a thousand academics from leading universities across the world. What about the hundreds of thousands of academics that didn't sign? What about the ones with half a brain that knows this is complete bullshit? I'm lazy to. The rest probably weren't approached. The vegan and plant-based community, um, the people that are heavily promoted like this guy, they almost espouse like what they're doing is the healthiest thing and everything else is lesser. But we know it's true. Mental health is on the decline amongst the plant-based community. We know this. Cases of osteoporosis are going up. Suicide rates, I'm pretty sure, would be going up. There are me mechanisms behind this at play. Um, E12 deficiency, low DHA content of the diet, low cholesterol in the diet, inability to repair tissues at a substantial rate that is needed by the human body. And he's telling me, oh, only uh, up to a thousand people. A thousand is a lot of people, guys. A thousand people that are um, academics. They can't all be wrong. I don't know. This news just in, a tiny percentage of people think that this is the way to go. But there's no evidence, and well, they're just a tiny percentage of people. How is this news? <laughs> Publishing in the academic journal Animal Frontiers as part of a collaboration between professional animal science societies, dozens of experts stood behind new claims that eating meat causes diseases as well as being harmful for the planet. New claims? Are you out of your mind? Who writes this drivel? Jesus. It comes amid a bigger push from campaigners to take up a plant-based diet with initiatives such as Veganuary and Meat Free Mondays. Yeah, they should get rid of those um, initiatives. They're not good for the planet and they're not good for people's health. People are nowadays eating more plants in their diet. People's health is getting worse. It's a correlation, it's an association nonetheless, but it kind of says something to me. Are people becoming more deficient in certain nutrients? Yes. Is something is missing. Something that is crucial for human health is missing. We're not mitigating any of this sort of happening by having veganuary and meat-free Mondays. It's just furthering the problem. I think you'll find veganuary has been going for years. Further to this, the medical journal The Lancet published a paper, The Global Burden of Diseases, Injuries and Risk Factors Study in 2020, where they said a high red meat diet was responsible for nearly a million deaths globally. Well, nearly 900,000, so it's quite far off um, a million. But yeah, um, who are the participants in this study? Who was asked? What family members did the medical journal go up to and say, oh, has your family died of this? Is, what, are they eat, what are they eating? Are they just eating red meat? No, it's, a, it's too many confounding variables. This study is piss weak. It doesn't hold any value or any credence at all. It's as good as anyone's guess. Again, how is this news? At least they're printing some truth, though. Researchers found, however, that it's hard to replicate the nutritional content of meat. Bullshit! Well Corrine. Horacine, choline, B12, omega-3, methylfolate, iron, zinc. There's probably a lot I've forgot about. <laughs> Where are you going to get those, guys? Where are you going to get those in their bioavailable, compatible format for plant foods? You're really not. It can be very difficult to do that. Very difficult. So you need careful planning. You need supplements. Well, unless you mean all the negatives like sat fat, trans fats, and cholesterol that are actually killing us, of course, no one's dying of deficiencies. We're dying of excess of those types of nutrients from animal products and products. Okay, if you're going to use that kind of science, why are people that live in Hong Kong that have probably the highest consumption of meat per capita, why are they living so long? If you're going to use that kind of epidemiology kind of crap. Come on. Lots of saturated fat. Plenty of cholesterol, more lifespan. Processed junk, but all my essential vitamins, minerals, fatty acids test at the top of range. I don't find it hard. How many supplements do you need to take to do that? What is your health status like? Does your health status match or mimic the nutrient sufficiency? that you show or can observe in your blood.
No. Just for the guys that don't know, um, this guy was in hospital about two weeks ago or something, and he had a problem with his gallbladder. Now, I'm willing to bet that it's because of his high oxalate diet, high antinutrient, high inflammatory diet, that that was causing his problem. He won't admit to it. Even when the body says no, bench herbivore says yes. Give me more. And that is Darwinism. And it is a shame. Perhaps you don't know what the f*** you're on about. It added that those who live in poorer communities and have low meat intake often suffer from a number of nutrition deficient diseases such as stunted growth, wasting and anemia, the Telegraph reports. I think you'll find that people in poorer countries have a poor overall dietary pattern. And this is the problem. Hello? You might try switching your brain on before you put pen to paper or finger to keyboard. Researchers in Animal Frontier said that unprocessed meat is responsible for riding B12 vitamins. B12 vitamins? That doesn't even make sense. B12 is a vitamin. These people seem so knowledgeable and trustworthy. They're kind of true in a way because B12 um, it can be derived from a number of different things. Adeno, cyanobalamin, or whatever it's called. Um, Methyl cyanobalamin. There's another one. So yeah, they, they kind of are, in strictly speaking, there are multiple B12 vitamins in different formats that the body can or cannot absorb very well or not very well. So technically speaking, I mean, it is probably an error from the um, writer, but, you know. Omega-3 fatty acids and minerals such as iron and zinc, as well as supplying retinol. Well, when I write a nutrition plan for someone even on the smallest amount of calories, I... Th calories, this is who you're paying for, guys. The guy, he still uses calories as a metric to measure food intake. Definitely not an expert. Generally, three and a half x their iron uh, get well over a hundred percent of their zinc, and if they can have a like, substantial amount of calories, you can put in more over fat foods, uh, which tend to have even higher amounts of zinc. And as for retinol, vitamin A, there are six hundred odd carotenoids that vegans make retinol from. Again, any client of mine with several x of retinol activity. The conversions crap. And how would you know that if you're following these? 100% RDAs that a person is deficient or sufficient in their nutrient status in terms of vitamins and minerals. How do you know this? It's purely based on speculation. You're looking at numbers on a chart and saying, yep, you're healthy. No, you're not. When we look at the anecdotes of people on a vegan diet, typically they fall off after about three, four, five years. They tend to report deleterious health outcomes. Net negative equivalent which is what we're worrying about on a vegan diet but of course you're not aware of any of this are you mrs journalist stay in your lane the paper suggested that the link between red meat and disease was almost eradicated when it was combined with a healthy diet <laughs> leading to the gym that it was the rest of the diet that's the cause behind health issues yeah yeah epidemiology confounding factors something which is very apparent in nutrition science nowadays um, or thought they would call it science, anyway. Yeah, nice. You can say anything you want. You can make up any uh, theory, any hypothesis, but you need to prove it with science. Yeah, you need to prove with science that it's red meat causing a problem, and you're not doing that by creating these confounded studies. So you're a hypocrite. Scientific evidence, you absolute dolt. This is all conjecture. This is not the overwhelming scientific consensus. Why are you printing this bull****? One of the authors of the peer review, Dr. Alice Stanton of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. Well, there you go then. I don't ask my bin man to paint my rooms for me. So I certainly wouldn't ask a surgeon for nutrition advice. Anyway, she explained that the peer-reviewed evidence showed that the global burden of diseases claim was fatally scientific. That's fair enough, but if you look at the um, WHO, if you look at the people that make up that, uh, what's the word, collaboration of people that are giving people nutrition guidelines and telling people what they should and shouldn't do, how many of those people are dietitians or nutritionists? Not a lot. Not a lot. They've bought their way in. They don't follow the science. Pardon the pun. They, um, they espouse lies. We get uh, demonetized now, but 
you know, sort of whatever. Specifically flawed. Unfortunately, she didn't say how, so you'll have to just take her word for it. She added, removing fresh meat and dairy from diets would harm human health. Women, children and the elderly and people on no income would be particularly negatively impacted. Prove it. Don't just make up any old nonsense. Prove what you're trying to say. I agree. If you're going to make statements like that, people should be scientific and produce some kind of um, data to support their claim. The point is, while she's not a nutritionist per se, she is a health care professional which means she's probably done some research to some extent. So it's more of a appeal to authority in that sense. Can she make these kind of suggestions or quotes? Yeah. It's just it's up to the, the reader to subjectively decide, do I respect that claim or not? Do I agree with it or not? It's, it's an opinion at the end of the day. So, you know, it's not a lie. Like um, what Hench Herbivore is espousing. Say, you can't, can you? Just words, unsubstantiated drivel. Livestock derived foods provide a variety of essential nutrients and other health promoting compounds and loads of things that will kill you. <laughs> Many of which are lacking even <laughs> among those populations with higher incomes, the declaration states. Again, that's not the scientific consensus and all my nutrients. Scientific consensus, scientific consensus. You don't need a, a million idiots to tell you the wrong thing for something to be right or wrong. You just need one guy or one woman with the correct opinion. You don't need to listen to thousands of people. All it takes for anything to be proven right or wrong is one scientific study as well formed, well created, well whatever you want to call it. Just one. One person to stick up for the little guy. To put all these assholes in their lane. It's tested at the top of range. Well-resourced individuals may be able to achieve adequate diets while heavily restricting meat, dairy, and eggs. However, this approach should not be recommended for general populations. Wait a minute, doesn't the general population mostly eat meat, eggs, and dairy? The general population eats predominantly plant-based foods. Without a doubt, this is certain, it's in the literature. Um, at least the epidemiological studies that we have. Um, time and time again, we've proven for example, the average household will buy less meat. They'll buy less of this, buy less eggs, buy, you know. We've seen a health decline as a result of that. Wow. And I think you'll find that most people die of diseases of affluence. Another one of the report's authors, Dr. Wilhelm Wilmstich of the Technical University of Munich, adds, one size fits all agendas such as the drastic reductions of livestock numbers could incur environmental and nutritional consequences on a massive scale. Oh, hang on a minute, Dr. Wilhelm Wilmsdisch of the Technical University of Backwardsland. <laughs> now it makes sense. I see he's not producing any studies to back up his bullshit either. How are these bull reports? Well, the, the journalists are going up to people that have an opinion. And they're asking them the question. They're answering the question. They're not being told to put a report or a proposal across with an outline of their scientific research and literature. They ask their opinion, so they're giving their opinion. So they're not wrong to do this. Uh, I'm not sure if the Daily Mail has a citations section on their website anyway, so I don't know if that would even be possible. And editorials allowed in this day and age. I, why is this still going on? Anyway, if you want to optimize your health, body shape, or performance without harming animals, without f***ing up the environment like a complete balance, check out my... Nice use of language there. I don't know. This is shocking. This is absolutely shocking. Um, I wouldn't be following this guy, honestly. I've got nothing left to say. I'll leave it at that. All right. Please like the video, comment below. Tell me what you think of this um, intro before. And subscribe if you have not yet already. Thank you.